go to Burning Man to see all the celebrities and talent there? Well, we're not going to do that. We're going to the playa where Burning Man is held though. And we're going to see stars. Lots of stars. This week we are headed to the Black Rock Desert outside Gerlach, Nevada for some astrophotography. What? That's basically the same thing. Come on. Let's roll that intro and get ready for a different kind of trip into the universe. So let me explain why I've been away for a while longer than I would like. I actually went on this photo trip a couple weeks ago and haven't posted a proper video since then. The day we went to Girl Luck to do the shoot happened to be Super Bowl Sunday. We pulled into town about 2.30 or so and went out to scout some locations. The Black Rock Desert is just a jam. Super beautiful. I always love getting out there. After the scouting, we headed back into town if you've never been to Girl Lock, and I'm quite sure most of you haven't, it's not a massive town. There's one motel there, just the one. To check in, you stop by the bar of the same name and get your keys. When we checked in, they let us know that they had a Super Bowl special buffet. It looked reasonable. So after we scouted, having little else to do, we stopped in there. It was nice, we, we enjoyed the game. What we didn't know was that there was an invader there. A dirty little COVID bug was waiting for me. <laughs> to be fair, I don't know for sure that's where I got it, but I do know that within a couple days, I was, I was down pretty hard. That was almost two weeks ago now, and I still can't taste anything. And I'm sure you can hear that there's a difference in my voice. This was a rough one. Hope that doesn't happen again anytime soon. Okay, that's out of the way. Let's get back to the photography. I chose this spot for a few reasons. One, it's truly dark. It's pretty far away from any significant light sources, making it a really awesome place to catch stars. Two, I was hoping to be able to use a striking foreground of the lake bed to give me an interesting frame. As it turned out, the lake actually had water in it. So the thought then became to get the reflection of the night sky. Unfortunately, we didn't end up lined up very well with the Milky Way or interesting patches of sky, so it wasn't that useful, but it was a good thought. We did discover a glitch in the computational photography though. It sharpens the stars in the sky, but the stars in the reflection leave trails. Might make an interesting concept, but it didn't really work for me. The night was moonless until almost midnight, so it seemed like a great location to really see what the Pixel 7 Pro could do. Go back and watch the first part of my astrophotography video I released a month ago. The only thing that I did differently now was setting the focus to far instead of auto. I think that tweak really helped with the focus and clarity in my new photos. I had the right weather and conditions to get better shots this time, so I expected better. I see all these amazing shots in Instagram and I thought my phone should allow me to do something similar. Turns out there's a little more to it than that. If you have any suggestions for me on how to get something that looks like this, please do leave them in the comments. For some reason, the shots I took lacked that color, that easily recognizable Milky Way. I was pointed at it, but it almost seems confusing, like there are just too many stars in the frame, hard to get a story out of it. There might be some variables I'm missing, the time of the night, year, not pointing in the right direction, something. But especially when we look at the photo right out of the camera, there's just nothing that moves me. After using the Astro Edit option, I could certainly pull out some more drama, color, sharpness. This one is edited with just the phone, and I must say, there's an incredible amount of detail here. It's also really great to be able to get this kind of long exposure shot without the need for a mount to track the stars. The Pixels AI takes care of all that, so you don't get the trails you would otherwise. If you take these shots and run them through Lightroom or a similar editor, 
you can get something like this, which is really not bad for a phone. Is it what I expected? No. Is it the best astrophotography experience I've ever come across on a smartphone? For sure. So, a couple lessons. One, this will not work as well as a professional camera mounted on a computerized star tracking mount. Two, this doesn't cost $5,000 plus. Three, take this as an excuse to get out to a really dark place and do some stargazing. It's just so striking when you're used to the city sky. Well worth getting out there. We actually saw the smoke trail of a small meteorite. It was such a dazzling moment. We didn't catch the flame and the trail faded out before we could get it on the camera, but still, four, Pixel 7 Pro is an amazing tool, but you do need to do a fair amount of research and planning to do astrophotography right. There are night sky maps you can use, and you really have to watch the weather and moon conditions to get it right. Five, get vaccinated, COVID sucks. Looking forward to your suggestions on getting those stunning Milky Way shots. Hope you enjoyed mine. I'll get back to 100% soon, but we have a pretty solid round of snow coming in. I'm really hoping for some warmer weather soon, so I can get up more nights without freezing my tukas off. Thanks for watching, have a bright and focused week.